Levels of radioactive cesium touching the safety limit set by the government have been detected in rice samples collected from northeastern Fukushima Prefecture. Farmers are becoming increasingly worried as the season for rice harvesting approaches. Local government officials say that 500 becquerels per kilogram of cesium were measured in rice plants from Nihonatsu City. The figure is the highest in tests carried out across the country. The farmer whose rice was found to be highly contaminated spoke to NHK. It's not easy to express how sad I feel right now. I have done nothing wrong and worked very hard to grow my rice with care. So it is regrettable. I don't know what to do. Since the March accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, the central government has required that food be tested for radiation. Pre-harvest tests are currently being carried out on rice plants. On Saturday, the Nihonatsu city government held an emergency meeting with officials from the prefectural government. <laughs> It's really regrettable. The city will do everything it can to support farmers, while at the same time ensuring food safety. Since some farmers had already started to harvest their rice before the test results were available, it was decided that they should store their crops until results of the post-harvest tests are completed. Japan's Nuclear Safety Agency has instructed the operator of the stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to check if hydrogen is building up in its number two and three reactors. This comes after Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, recently detected hydrogen in a pipe leading to the containment vessel of the number one reactor. A hydrogen explosion occurred at the number one reactor on March 12th after the March 11th quake and tsunami. The government's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency on Sunday instructed TEPCO to check pipes in the number two and number three reactors. The number three reactor suffered a hydrogen explosion on March 14th, and the number two reactor had a hydrogen explosion on March 15th. The utility says it will measure the levels of hydrogen at the number one reactor before injecting nitrogen and taking other measures to prevent another explosion. The firm is expected to take similar measures if hydrogen is detected at the number two and number three reactors as well. Japan's Environment Ministry says that the disposal of radioactive ash from household garbage is not going well in Tokyo and surrounding areas, partly due to residents' objections. Following the nuclear accident in Fukushima, waste facilities in the Tohoku, Kanto and Koshinetsu regions have shown that ash and garbage from private homes contain radioactive cesium. Experts reported the issue in a meeting held in the Environment Ministry on Sunday. The ministry has set guidelines for disposing of the ash. They say that if the level is 8,000 becquerels per kilogram or lower, the ash can be buried. For ash with cesium levels between 8,000 and 100,000 becquerels, the ministry says they must be deposited in cement and put in concrete vessels. The ministry recently surveyed waste incineration facilities in the regions to see how the ash disposal is proceeding. Of 410 facilities where cesium levels of ash were 8,000 becquerels or lower, 22 sites, mainly in the Tokyo metropolitan area, have been storing the ash. They say they cannot bury the ash due to residents' objections. The survey also found ash, which had over 8,000 becquerels of cesium, had not been buried at 42 facilities. They said meeting the disposal requirements was difficult. The ministry plans to send officials to meetings in municipalities to explain to residents the safety of waste disposal. It also plans to demonstrate more specific ways of disposing of the highly contaminated ash. But that, re that, that leads us to another problem, because what's happening now, as I'm told, is that the Japanese government are trucking radioactive material from the Fukushima disaster area, where it's contaminated, all over Japan. And even as far south as the south of Japan, we're now getting reports of, of uh, radioactive, uh, radioactive material being taken all the way to the south of Japan to be burnt. Now, what possible reason could there be for burning it as far away as that? I'll tell you the reason. It's really quite sinister and horrifying. The reason is this, that eventually when these children start to die from leukemia, from other cancers, from heart disease, from whatever, their parents are going to want to go into court.
They're going to want to sue the Japanese government, and they're going to want to have to say, these, in order to do that, these children were contaminated, and that's why they've got high levels of cancer. But of course, the only way that they can say that they've got high levels of cancer is to have a control group in an area that's not contaminated. For example, the south of Japan. So I believe that the project to take this material and burn it all over Japan is to destroy all of Japan, is to increase the, the, the cancer rate in the whole of Japan so that there will be no control group to which you can compare these children in the Fukushima area. So that's that point. Japan's economy, trade and industry ministry says it will support companies investing in geothermal power generation projects. Geothermal generation uses high temperature steam produced by underground water heated naturally from volcanic activity. The ministry predicts that geothermal generation will be a key source of renewable energy in Japan. The country has many volcanoes. A semi-governmental body will offer grants or investment money to firms looking for suitable sites. Companies need, a, need to raise huge amounts of money for the initial stages of these projects. Drilling a well for underground steam is said to cost 5 to 10 billion yen, or about 65 million to 130 million dollars. The ministry also plans to guarantee firms' debt to help them obtain loans for the projects from financial institutions. It will allocate the necessary funds for the plan in the next fiscal year's budget.